Welcome to Daily Prayer, a ministry of the Good Shepherd Lutheran Church. We'll be here with you every day throughout the COVID-19 emergency. I'm Pastor Bob Schaefer. It's good to see you. Today is Saturday, October 17th, the Saturday before Proper 24. Let's take a moment of silence now as we begin. We begin with a lighted candle. A candle burning in the darkness is a powerful symbol of hope. We light this candle as a sign of our strong hope that God is with us no matter what comes. The candle also reminds us that Jesus said we would be lights for the world. We're called to live generously and graciously, taking care of one another in the name of Jesus. Please join me if you'd like in lighting a candle in your own home now. Let's pray. Sovereign God, raise your throne in our hearts. Created by you, let us live in your image. Created for you, let us act for your glory. Redeemed by you, let us give you what is yours. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. And now we turn to the pages of Holy Scripture. Today our readings begin in Psalm 96. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord, praise his name. Announce every day how he delivers. Tell the nations about his splendor. Tell all the nations about his amazing deeds. For the Lord is great and certainly worthy of praise. He is more awesome than all gods. For all the gods of the nations are worthless, but the Lord made the sky. Majestic splendor emanates from him. His sanctuary is firmly established and beautiful. Ascribe to the Lord, O families of the nations, ascribe to the Lord splendor and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the splendor he deserves. Bring an offering and enter his courts. Worship the Lord in holy attire. Tremble before him all the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord reigns. The world is established. It cannot be moved. He judges the nations fairly. Let the sky rejoice, and the earth be happy. Let the sea and everything in it shout. Let the fields and everything in them celebrate. Then let the trees of the forest shout with joy before the Lord, for he comes. He comes to judge the world fairly, and the nations in accordance with his justice. We continue in the prophet Isaiah, the 14th chapter. When the Lord gives you relief from your suffering and anxiety, and from the hard labor from which you were made to perform, you will taunt the king of Babylon with these words. Look how the oppressor has met his end. Hostility has ceased. The Lord has broken the club of the wicked, the scepter of rulers. It furiously struck down nations with unceasing blows. It angrily ruled over nations, oppressing them without restraint. The whole earth rests and is quiet they break into song. The evergreens also rejoice over your demise, as do the cedars of Lebanon, singing, Since you fell asleep, no woodsman comes up to chop us down. Sheol below is stirred up about you, ready to meet you when you arrive. It rouses the spirits of the dead for you, all the former leaders of the earth. It makes all the former kings of the nations rise from their thrones. All of them respond to you, saying, You too have become weak like us. You have become just like us. Your splendor has been brought down to Sheol, as well as the sound of your stringed instruments. You lie on a bed of maggots with a blanket of worms over you. And finally, in the Gospel of Matthew, the 14th chapter. At that time, Herod the Tetrarch heard reports about Jesus, and he said to his servants, This is John the Baptist. He has been raised from the dead. Because of this, miraculous powers are at work in him. For Herod had arrested John, bound him, and put him in prison on account of Herodias, his brother Philip's wife, because John had repeatedly told him, It is not lawful for you to have her. Although Herod wanted to kill John, 
he feared the crowd because they accepted John as a prophet. But on Herod's birthday, the daughter of Herodias danced before them and pleased Herod so much that he promised with an oath to give her whatever she asked. Instructed by her mother, she said, Give me the head of John the Baptist here on a platter. Although it grieved the king, because of his oath and the dinner guests, he commanded it to be given. So he sent and had John beheaded in the prison. His head was brought on a platter and given to the girl, and she brought it to her mother. Then John's disciples came and took the body and buried it and went and told Jesus. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now that we've dwelt in God's word, let's take some time to pray together. I'd like to invite you to pray out loud with me. Don't be embarrassed that you're praying with a video screen. I'm praying in an empty room. And yet, despite the strangeness, our technology is joining us in prayer right now, no matter when or where we are. So in that spirit, let's pray. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever, amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, the life everlasting. Amen. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Give us the joy of your saving health again, and sustain us with your bountiful spirit. Give peace in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep the nations under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and sustain me with your Holy Spirit. Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. Let us pray to the Lord, who is our refuge and stronghold. For the health and well-being of our nation, that all who are fearful and anxious may be at peace and free from worry. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For the isolated and housebound, that we may be alert to their needs and care for them in their vulnerability. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For our homes and families, our schools and young people, and all in any kind of need or distress, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. For a blessing on our local communities, that our neighborhoods may be places of trust and friendship, where all are known and cared for. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Each day, I like to share with you one good thing, a bit of hopeful news, a moment of beauty, a tip to help you through the day. 
And here's a follow-up. Yesterday, I encouraged you to get a flu shot. So, last night, Gretchen, her mom, and I paraded into our local pharmacy all in a row to get our flu shots. It was quick and painless, and free. The pharmacy staff were pleasant and professional. It maybe wasn't the greatest Friday night out that the world has ever seen, but it was totally acceptable for 2020. We're already making plans to go back in a month for our shingle vaccine outing. So, woohoo, let the good times roll. And that's one good thing for today. Do you have a good thing that you'd like to share with the world? Send us your photos and videos by going to bit.ly slash mygoodthing. And share your tips and stories with at Pastor Schaefer on Twitter. I can't wait to hear from you. And that'll do it for now. Thank you for spending a few minutes of your time with us today. We hope it's been a blessing. Please take a moment to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and tell your friends about us. Stop by and visit us online at goodshepherdlife.org, and please consider making a gift to support our ongoing ministry. You'll find our PayPal address in the program notes. Stay well, be of good cheer, and be kind to one another. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>